right, Victor, that is your name today. Uh, so we've done the anamnesis now. Uh, basically what we're going to do now, we're going to do some examination and tests on you, mm -hmm. just to figure out that specifically the structure is affected, and just to try to line it up with your history and what you told me. Uh, yeah. We're going to do some assessments for your back and also for your groin. Mm -hmm. uh, is that okay for you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, do you mind taking off your shorts and t-shirt? Okay. Is that okay? So the first test we're going to do is you could lay on your stomach facing your head for facing the wall here. Yeah. Uh, we are going to do a test called the test of Linnell. Uh, basically that is just a test because you, you mentioned that you had a little bit lower back pain, right? Yeah. Yeah. So basically I want to assess if the pain comes from your hip. Sorry, <laughs> comes from your hip. It's come from your SIJ or if it comes from your lower back. So I'm just, is it okay if I touch you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to warm my hands a bit. I'm going to go. You could just scooch a little bit over towards me. Thank you very much. So that was your right leg. I'm going to assess your right leg. All right. So I'm going to press down. It's called the two here. I'm going to lift up. I'm going to internally rotate a little bit. I'm going to lift up. Is this painful? No, it's fine. It's fine? Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's indicate, this indicates that the pain is not coming from your hip joint. So I'm going to go a little bit higher now to your SIJ, which is right here. I'm going to go here, I'm going to internally rotate, I'm going to press up. Is that painful? Slightly, but not really. Right. Where do you feel the pain? Yeah, mostly in my back. Mostly in your back, alright. So it's not related to SIJ, that is good. And then I'm going to go from here, three or four. Alright, I'm going to go under here. Please let me know if it's really uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm going to go internally, I'm going to press. Oh yeah. Oh. That's painful. That's painful? Yeah. Where do you feel the pain? Uh, same area in my back. That's it. Around, around here? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel any pain elsewhere? Mm, maybe a bit in front here. In the front? Yeah. In front of the thigh? Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. That might indicate the hip flexors, because you're stretching the hip flexors, which might be painful. We will, we will assess that. Uh, you can turn around. That's fine. On your stomach. On your back, sorry. Uh, so basically the results here are telling us that the pain you're experiencing is coming from your lower back. Yeah. Uh, what was the scale from one to ten? I would say three. Three. Yeah. Three. So it's not like severe. It's just like something's there. Yeah, That's discomfort more than yeah, discomfort. Me. Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some tests to rule out some specific structures. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to your hip. Okay. We're gonna rule out something we call impingement. So we're gonna start with the healthy side first. Okay. You know this is affected, but okay. always start with the healthy side. Yeah. Just to compare it. Uh, so we're gonna do a test called Faber. That's to rule out okay. a posterior uh, posterior impingement. Okay. So we're gonna place this here. Mm -hmm. I'm press on. Please let me know if you feel any pain. No, that's fine. Right. I'm just gonna see. Can you hold it? Right. Okay, so it's like this. Uh, thumbs up distance. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna see the other side as well. So no pain here. No recognizable pain. Uh, no. no. Okay. Go here. Pain? No, no. This is how far you go, and measure. Okay, it's a little bit longer than last time. It's like thumbs up plus two oh, centimeters. So you have a little bit restricted hip mobility here as well. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't provoke your pain, which is good. Yeah. Uh, so we can rule out impingement and also labrum tear. Okay. Which is good. Labrum tear is basically a layer around your socket, which can be painful okay. if you get impinged. Good. So I'm gonna do a test for fadir. This is more also an impingement okay. tear. You can go in here. I'm oh, sorry, I'm gonna start with obviously this thing. Sorry, camera man. <laughs> I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. Turn up rotation. Press down. Is this painful? No. No? All right. Good. Painful? No. No. All right, so we can rule out impingement. Very good. Okay. I was, so impingement is ruled out. Now we're going to move on further to more specific to your groin structures. Mm -hmm. That's where you're feeling the pain. Mm -hmm. um, do you have the towel? Yeah, just a uh, really nice basic towel. So we're going to do something we call pubic clock. And the pubic clock can be a little bit uh, invasive, like mm -hmm. because I'm really going to touch around mm -hmm. this area. Is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So can you uh, put your uh, ding dong? Uh, My ding dong? To the left. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to cover this up first. I'm just roll this down. Okay. Yeah. 
Quite comfortable? Yeah. yeah. So your ding dong is to the it's super double super attach your ding dong? Super far to the left. Alright, so I'm gonna start. You can you can let go of this one. That's fine, so I'm gonna block my movement. So I'm gonna go here. So see yes, I'm gonna go down here. Okay. This is the inguinal ligament. Yep. Is this painful? Mm, no, that's fine. No? Okay. Okay. There's the bone you feel? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to touch too long because it can be a little bit uncomfortable. So to the left here, this thing wheel again, no pain? Yeah, no. Okay, then go a little bit up. Is this superficial? Inguinal pain? Mm -hmm. No? It might be a little bit uncomfortable for me to touch. Yeah, but it's, 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 I'm asking if you feel the recognizable pain. Okay. No. Okay, and then we can go here, which is the rectus abdominis. Yeah. No pain? No pain. No. And go to the pubic symphysis, which is here. This might feel a little bit weird. Yeah. This is like the structure that binding the hip together. Okay. But is there any pain? No. And the last one is the adductor longus here. <laughs> tickles. Yeah, it tickles. Yeah. Is that painful? No. It's just a little bit weird me pressing, so I'm not going to press too long. Okay. But basically, the reason I'm doing this test is to figure out which specific structure is affected. Mm -hmm. And no structure here, like tendon, mm -hmm. was affected. You didn't get any pain, so we can rule out mm -hmm. almost all of these structures. Mm -hmm. But I still want to, I still want to do some adductor testing on you. Okay. Now, just to rule it out because it might get involved. So I'm still mm -hmm. gonna quickly assess it to be honest. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna palpate around here. Mm -hmm. Is this painful? No, it's fine. No recognizable pain? No. Okay, that's good. So then I'm palpating the adductor longus just to see if that might if that is the okay. an identified structure. Okay. Um, then we can do we can do something called squeeze test. So we're gonna go here, you're gonna press towards my hands. Press do you feel any pain? No. No? Okay, I'm gonna bend your hand. Okay. Press it. Anything? No. No? Nothing? That's good. So we can also rule out adductor okay. uh, rated pain because that we should be provoked during this test. Yep. Uh, so the last test we're going to do is ellipsoas. Ellipsoas is basically the hip flexor. Mm -hmm. And I've, uh, I told you earlier, I think this is the identified structure. That's yep. why you got pain on the back yep. test versus right. stretches. Okay. Uh, so the first test we're going to do is we're going to resist the hip flexion mm -hmm. and bend your leg. Mm -hmm. I actually want to start. Good foot first. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how much pull we have. We're gonna pull, pull all we can towards me. Go okay. there. Pull, 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 pull. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good strength there as well. Yeah. Pretty strong. So I would say if your right leg is a five out of five in strength, mm -hmm. you're gonna compare it to your left leg now. Now your sorry, left leg is there. Yeah. That's the right leg. Okay. You're gonna go up and press. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a ah, reduced strength. Painful. How pain was that? Once seven, out of ten. seven out of ten. And did you feel it the recognizable thing? Oh, uh, yeah, it's yeah. very similar. Thank you. Usually All right, so we're gonna do one last test. Mm -hmm. uh, could you stand up for me? For yes, of course. So. Now we're gonna do a test called uh, Thomas test. Uh, this is also for the Elpsoas. This table is good and safe, secure. Uh, so basically, what you're gonna do, there's two tests in one. So we're gonna first do the, since you're already standing, we're gonna do the subjective one, so that's just stretching. So if you can stand here, you can stand here, and you can just first start with your non-affected leg. So you would start with your right leg holding here, mm -hmm. and go right down like this. Okay. And we can be here to support as well. There. With the non-affected. So this is do you want to start with your non-affected first? No, this one. This one, yeah. This one, go down. It's so cold. It's not funny. Sorry. It's a cold day today. Yeah, it's a cold day. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch to try to provoke the pain. Yeah. I'm going to spread these apart. So this is your affected, so this shouldn't no, unaffected. So you should have something like this as well. That's not. Just feel a little bit stretched. Right? Yeah, yeah. It looks good. All right. Now you can just grab your other foot as well. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. Now. Yeah. How you feel it? Yeah. Or you feel it? Yeah. I feel it in front. Okay. Yeah. Scale from one to ten. Close to seven. Yeah. And if I press this one in now? Uh, it it's not worse, but I still feel the pain. It's not worse? No. Okay, so we can rule out the rectus humoris. Okay. It's more related to the left source. Yeah. Could you just slide scooch over to the table? Sure. Further in the table? Yeah, so just lie on the back again. Okay. We're going to do one last one. Mm -hmm. So basically, what you're going to do, we're going to start with your non affected. So we are going to grab your left foot. No, your right foot, sorry. Your right foot. I'm going to measure the distance mm -hmm. from here to see like how big the stiffness is. Uh, 
So here you can see if you come on, you can see it's around four fingers distance. I'm gonna measure it with your right foot. You can see here, it's way bigger. It's almost twice the amount. So we can see here that the range of motion is significantly reduced. Uh, the last test we're going to do is uh, it's called the tension arc test or uh, assessment. Okay. It's basically assessing when you play football, you go through this whole kick motion where yeah. you have a lot of, we call it posterior chain, it's the kinetic chain. So you have like a lot of muscles and fascia which is connected together. Mm -hmm. So when you're playing football, they might get stressed a lot mm -hmm. and there might be some deficiencies in your mm -hmm. tension arc. So that's why I want to assess from side to side if there's any difference. And if there's like around 28% difference, that's something we should treat. So we're going to start. Is that okay for you? Yeah, to treat it, yeah. yeah. So we're going to mimic. I'm going to take off the towel. Oh, it makes it easier. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start on your healthy side first. Mm -hmm. So your right side is affected. You could actually lay on the right side facing that wall. So what I'm going to try to do is just to try to provoke some pain. On this side, I don't think it should. I think it shouldn't be painful. So you're gonna mimic the motion here. So this is the kicking motion, and kicking standing legs, standing. Yeah. Like. Your right arm so is gonna go up here because that's mm -hmm. how you kick the ball. Does this feel like you're kicking the ball up? Yeah, kind of. Like, yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Because this foot is gonna go backwards. Okay. We will Makes see. Sense. Yeah. So we're gonna assess hip extension first. I'm gonna go here. Then I'm gonna go back here. I need to tension it. Do you feel any pain? Nope. No. What if I go up here in the AB direction? Oh, that's weird. It's weird. Is no, it painful? No pain. No. no. I feel you have actually pretty good range of motion here. Thank you. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna go to the extension and I'm gonna go back. How does this feel? Painful? Um, no, that's fine. Yeah. I feel you actually have pretty good range of motion, I think. Uh, it might be. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna do the last one. The last one. It's hip external rotation, internal external rotation. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go near the end to the extension. I'm gonna start with the back here. Protect your lower back. I'm gonna go into another rotation. That's okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. And I'm gonna go like external rotation. I'm gonna go extension. Yeah. Not sure. No, it's fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. But your left side is pretty good. Now we're gonna do the other side. I suspect there might be a little deficiency there. Same position. Huh? Yeah, same position. So you got it already. You're a quick learner. Look down on the ball here. Pretty good. You're gonna sit your camera. Come here. You can just stand here. Thank you very much. So we're gonna do the same position here. So we're gonna go pressing on the two. Anakin, sorry. Oh, feel the stiffness here. Yeah, Is it painful? The same area. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. I'll go a little bit more inwards. It doesn't feel right. Is it the same pain? Yeah, it's same. The same. Yeah. And that might, that I can go back at that, it's possible because you're stretching a little sort of plate flexor. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go back here again. I'm not gonna go that far back. I see you really have a restriction range of motion here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go up. Oh, it stops here. See where it stops? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it painful still? Uh, yeah, it's painful. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna relieve some pain here. So I'll get to that. All right, and I'm gonna go up here again. Now I'm gonna go stand up. Oh, it stops here, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel it? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Do you feel the same pain? Um, yeah, it's quite yeah. similar, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna, the reason I'm going back and forth because I don't want to provoke your pain all the time. Uh, so we're gonna last one, hip external and internal rotation. So I'm gonna stand like this. I can see here with the stiffness is coming. So we're going internal. Oh, is this painful? It yeah. stops here, yeah. yeah. It's very limited. I'm gonna go external, the last one. Last one, then we're done. Oh, it stops here. Even more painful. Even more painful? Yeah, yeah. from a scale from 1 to 10. Yeah. Seven. Seven, still. All right, you can sit up. I'm going to explain you. Yeah, while I'm taking your quotes on, I'm going to explain the results. So you can clearly see, you probably felt it as well. And your right leg compared to your left leg, there's a big difference. Did you feel, did you feel it yourself? I did feel it. Yeah, yeah. I felt the pain and also felt it from my the the range of motion, yeah. as you call it. Yes. Range of motion was also limited. I would say it's more than 28%. So I think that's, if it's more than 28%, that's something we should treat. So in the treatment, we should focus on that. Um, but a good thing, all of the treatment we are supposed to do also covers that. So, mm. uh, But the results from the other examinations, so we did uh, some lower back testing. We figured mm. out the pain you had was yeah. from the lower back. Mm. 
it's not really painful, but a bit painful. Yeah. Uh, so that also is, is a link to your psoas because mm -hmm. they're connected. Yeah. So that might be the reason why. So we are also going to focus on that a bit. Mm -hmm. The other test we did for impingement was negative. So fadir, fadir. Mm -hmm. uh, and for the pubic clock, everything was negative. So we can rule out adductor pain, which is what mm -hmm. we know. And, and also was pubic and pubic synthesis here. Okay, good. So all of them are ruled out. The less the better. Yeah, the less the better, definitely. <laughs> less the better. But you got really painful patients. Also, we did the adductor test, the squeezing, remember, yeah. and palpating. There was all negative. Yeah. So adductor is also out of the picture, mm -hmm. which leaves us with the ellipsoas or the hip flexor. Because okay. that really was painful when you did the resistance mm -hmm. and thomas tests. Yeah. Uh, so the ellipsoas is the related structure. Yeah. And that's the only structure I believe, besides the lower back. So okay. our treatment should focus on retraining the psoas. I okay. suspect there's a tendinopathy, and I'm going to explain tendinopathy in the next session. Mm -hmm. More like the tendons are here from here. Okay. So our treatment should therefore be focused on tendinopathy while also maintaining strength in the rest of your body. All right. Is that okay for you? Yeah. Do you have any questions or? Uh, no, not specifically. Yeah. I think yeah, I'm satisfactory. Yeah. How does it feel to know like? Oh, it helps a lot yeah. because I really wonder what I had and I felt that painful one. Yeah, good. Thank you very much. Have a good day and a week. Yeah. We'll see you next week. See you next week.